Good morning, Giraffe and Lion students, or good afternoon, depending on when you're watching this. Here's today's book. It's called This Is Me. And it's a story of who we are and where we came from. Let's begin. Look at this classroom. Look at all the different children. My great grandmother came from a far and distant place. She came on a boat with just this small case. Can you see the small suitcase? Great grandmother left her family and friends to cross the great sea to a land at the end. Her parents informed her she had no say. Tomorrow we leave for a place far away. So fill up this case with the things you love best. Sadly, you'll have to leave all of the rest. So they packed up only some small things into their suitcase because they were moving far away. Did she wear all her clothes to leave more space? Could her family photo album fit in this case? I know she took some ribbons and some things to eat and shoes when they said to take care of her feet. Her whole family tree, pen and pencil set, one writing journal, a comb and barrette, do you know what a family tree is? Teacher's going to um, show you how to make a family tree. Great great grandma's necklace, her own handmade doll that she clutched on her journey when she felt very small. How did she do it? What would you take? Would you be scared that you'd make a mistake? How would you know in this case what to pack? And that once you had left, there'd be no coming back. So you, my dear class, you have big choices to make. When you bring this case home, what will you take? So you need to think about if you had to leave your country very quickly and move, what would you like to take with you? What is special for you? I couldn't take paintings or Diglett my rat or trophies or school books or dad's heart hand carved bat. Look at all these things that he had to leave behind. I take lots of photos and the doll my grams gram sewed and my first inline ticket to Katie's first show. Wow, many things that they have to leave behind. My punk rocker Barbie, cause my mum was one too. My barely stuffed bear, old Winnie the Pooh. Okay, so this child would take some toys with them. Abulo's beret, my ukulele, my St. Christopher medal to look out for me. How about him? My USA passport, and that makes me feel free. My Nintendo DS with my fave Luigi. My signed Harry Potter, my baby tooth tin, my aunt's high school class ring, and my dad's navy pin. These are all the things, no, 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 means they cannot take it. Yes, 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 means they're gonna bring it. My Groucho Marx glasses, Weird Al signed CD, my Notre Dame jersey, my Karate G. 
These are all the things that they would bring with them. Legos, a camera to film what I leave. If this really happened, it would be hard to believe. Imagine you had to leave very quickly. Some of you did. But I'd be so excited with, with all that was new, people and things to meet and to do. Great work, Eleanor. For the time that you took, this suitcase is like your own history book. For you are all, isn't just what you've got, but part what you learn, part what you're taught. Who you become starts with your past, family histories and stories that last. This great type that bought you seeds ancestors sowed that took root inside you and helped you to grow. Look at all the family pictures. We're going to talk more about families and family trees. Now you take this case and imagine it's true that you're leaving and needing to choose what says you. What would you take? Which things would they be that say to the world, Hi there, this is me. Okay guys, here's your suitcase, your old suitcase. You need to think what you're going to put inside of there to take with you, okay? And that's the end of the book.